On February 6, 1981, the first shots of which marked the advent of a five-year Luero Bush war struggle rang out at the UNLA barracks in Kabamba. 34 years later, the Ugandan army whose cradle is in Luero has transformed into a vanguard of peace in a restive neighborhood. More than a year ago, the UPDF was deployed in the war racked South Sudan after fighting broke out between fighters loyal to President Salva Kiir and former Vice President Dr. Riak Machar. Since then, a semblance of peace has returned in the country. Today, the Ugandan army holed up in South Sudan celebrated Tarehe Sita just like their counterparts back home. The UPD of soldiers marched to Juba Teaching Hospital and at the airport where they cleaned the premises. Crowds in the city lined the streets to wave to the soldiers. Focal point was the hospital where all majority of the population converge and get treatment. So we wanted to identify ourselves as the people of, of Juba cleaning the hospital with volunteers who volunteered to come. The deputy overall commander of the UPDF in South Sudan, Lieutenant Colonel Moses Kwikiriza, said the army has restored sanity because of its disciplinary record. There was chaos. People are being killed. So we came in to avert genocide because there were indicators of genocide similar to those ones of Rwanda. Therefore, we could not sit back and when the people were here being killed and killing each other. And more importantly, which people are being killed in this crossfire? The civilians, the elderly, the children, the women, those who don't know why this confusion is there. The UPDF has bases in Nisitu and Juba in Central Equatoria and another base in Bor in Jongle State. The UPDF continues to patrol the lawless areas in South Sudan. However, as the two adversaries, President Salva Kiir and Dr. Riak Machar, edge closer to a peace deal, it's inevitable that the Ugandan army has to withdraw from the neighboring states. However, when that will take place is unknown. Emmanuel Mutaizibwa, NTV Tonight in South Sudan, Juba.